ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome again to another reality podcast. Now here in Nangu for the talker. Now here as it happen. Because my papa talks, say, eh? anytime when somebody tells us, no, tell person, no. This thing where I tell you, don't let person you no know, see it is lie. And my papa talks, say, as it happen now, now person, we go tell you something. You know the hard. Now only person we will give you food. Now you go to find. That's why for this program, as it is hot, all the gossip where you they hear, everything where they hear, as it happen, as it pinch you, now reality talk. Now we they talk for here. That is why Sam Skodi Media yeah. Limited bring this Let's Gist podcast. And it goes sweet you where well, because this episode when we did so, person we will get for studio. Now person will be like, say yes, in name, now household name for the whole entertainment for Nigeria. And the way we did they hear Temoku, they hear Gast, anything when you they hear. I saw this guy Bill because you don't get person when you don't play this guy music. You don't get person when you don't love. Even me where they did the studio, so as I see, I shock, say, hey, that this man, I be this. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is MC Rogold, aka Milligram, oh, Milligram. Oh, and also, ladies and gentlemen, I have a very beautiful Coca Cola shaped dancer in the studio. He goes by the name Suwa Nori Suya. He is a 35 years old virgin. The only virgin in Benin City. Yeah. And also, ladies and gentlemen, I have a man that bought a cream when they were doing promo. After promo finish, he no can see money. Nah. Take buy cream again. He goes by the name Official Nelson. Nelson. Why? And ladies and gentlemen, a man I am about to introduce. He's an actor. He's a, he's a script writer. He's a musician. I don't know. This man, he made my childhood bangs. Mm. Like, when would they come from school? That time would they sing? One day, I did drive for a With the atom, that, that song, with the atom for movie, with the they play as small, small children. One day, I did drive for a I did, with they, Baba, we have him in the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, if your hands are not busy and you know you love good things, give it up for Teddy Phillips, aka Natural Baby. Wow. 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 I feel so special right now. Aww. You are only special. You are only special. <laughs> Thank okay. You. The way, because of the way I say talker. Uh, honestly. You just. No. You know. You just, say, I want me. Because all the people what would they get for this studio. See that they come and give us one error. <laughs> so I just put all my body together. So I said they come and say raw gold. Take this small Not thing. Raw gold, okay. Make una, make okay, una. okay. Okay. Take okay. 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 Let me introduce you. Okay, okay. I have with me here uh-huh, the uh-huh. handsome. Uh huh. I just stop there because Ash. I continue. I feel you if you give us like five, if you give us like five k, I give you eight hundred. At least all your bills are yeah. Okay. I thought this is less just reality show. Yes. But you are turning into less hype reality show. <laughs> I'm not happy. You. I'm not trying to energize your spirit. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Growing up, your song was a bang. I can still sing the song Walk to Words. Wow. Up to now. You see. That, that was the reason why Bonaboy said most of our people where they sing, they say their song does not have substance in it. Mm. That means the music feed they go leave your head. Mm. But you get this kind of music where you go, you enter, you don't enter, you don't enter, you go to sing on word for word. Mm. Boss, I want to say thank you so much for being part of our childhood. Thank you so much for having me in the studio. Thank you very much for accepting me. We want to say we love you. Thank you so much for all you do. Thank you so much. But please, um, quickly, mm. I don't know. I don't know. So I want to ask you this question: What, 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 what? Where are you from? Okay. How did you come? Because this name, Natural Baby White, it's not two people. Mm. Yeah, I, I remember I said that that song where you see sing that the way I sing. Now the same time where they sing, will you be my screen saver? See, see. I think now the same time. That no, is, not it cannot be the same time. No, okay, no, the way no. I tell love that music, I tell love that you now. <laughs> so please, if you just give us more, how because two of us now we not see two of us together again. How now they come together? You know, say, Percy, even Peter and Paul. See, so just give us the foundation of how two of us take the how two of us take break up. Okay, um, you want me to come on the same direction with you because of your fan as you want me to do this on pigeon or 
No, anyhow. Anyone. Anyone. Because the way you say attack me this morning, <laughs> the day of you say you're ready, and I go give it to you back, back to back. To back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Actually, natural and baby white are two young kids that grow from the same neighborhood, mm. and um, our parents were family friends. Mm. So I and baby white knew each other. I uh, think we were ten years old. Mm. I was ten when I knew baby white. Mm. And I'm senior to him with just two years. So I was 10. He was two. He was mm, eight, eight, rather. Mm. So that was how we became friends. We grew up together. Went to the same high institution. Talking about Aochi Polytechnic. And studied the same course, civil engineering. Wow. Graduated the same year. Don't be lying. And See friendship. went into a professional music career. Wow. Mm. Thank you. So you went into a professional music career. Yeah. Waiting break. I know we know the sooner don't break up. We're not still there together. Actually, the reason why for some period of time you've not really heard from us is because there were issues. Issues from different angle. Issues from Natural and Baby White as a company and um, issues from our management team. Mm. So because of that, we had to, we had to, I think, separate for a while. We are not quarreling. We don't have issues. But we just have to do that for some certain reasons and for the best. But I can tell you that we are still best of friends till now. Mm. We still communicate and we still have great plans together. Wow. Yep. Okay. You and I still get great plans together in terms of the music uh, aspect or in our business. Uh, generally, music and every other thing you can think of okay. that pertains to life. Okay. You made measure of uh, you guys had some issues. Yeah. You understand? So we would like to know all these issues. Mm, not Just sure. split them out. Lights. Small, small. Mm. You understand? With okay. the management and with yeah. you and money okay. sharing. Yes, okay. Money sharing. Just break them out. We want to just know how you are natural, how you as you as the natural, yeah. how you and baby white work out for the music industry. Just tell us more. Okay. Um, we released our first album 2007, hmm. which is Brekete. And um, when we released that song, why Brekete was still was still very hot. We did other projects like uh, we did um, Atlanta, you know, we had the dance in Atlanta and mm. other projects. Mm. And um, some other management company came in, wants to work with us, and we accepted. While we we're on that, a lot of events were also coming from overseas. And we started having some issues pertaining visa denial to one party mm. while visa issuing to the other party. Hi. Are you getting it? Yes. And as a group, Natural and Baby White, we are to play or perform together. Together. Yes. Not individually. individually. So there was this particular Europe tour that came 2008 and um, we were to perform in 26 states in Europe, they denied us visa, both of us. So the organizers of the event insisted that they want us to come. Within a space of three weeks, they applied in another different embassy. Mm. So going to that other embassy, they had to deny one of us uh -uh, and gave the other one. So we're like, this is, going to be, to be, this is going to be an issue. Because one cannot go while the other one stays. Stay back. So we both agreed. And that was how we stayed back. Hmm. The people that were involved, they were not happy because of the money they spent and every other thing. Hmm. Along the way, another invitation came. This one that came was... A bit bigger than the first one because it involves other entertainers like 
the likes of Duncan Mighty mm-hmm. and um, some indigenous Edo entertainment ent- 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 entertainers like mm-hmm. Emperor Wadada and yes. others. Now, they said we are to go as band. Are you getting it? Yeah. We are to go as band, including Duncan Mighty and others. And I was to add that band. So, other artists had to be traveling down to Benin to see me. Duncan Mighty had to travel down. Wadada had to come from Isha land. I and Baby White was already here. So, it wasn't easy. All those stress, going to Lagos, coming. At the end, the same thing happened again. They issued some visa. They didn't issue the other. That is uh, not there so between both of who did they always they give? Uh-huh. And one just no, just talk the name. Uh, well, actually, it's not as if I want to say anything to make anybody feel bad. No, you understand. Yeah. But in like two occasions, the visa was denied. The visa that they denied was that of my brother. Talking about baby white. Yeah. So, and you know how it feels like. Yeah. You know, Nigeria now, different tops go they come up. Yeah. Yeah. So I say, ah, wait till they happen. Yeah, nah. But it's natural thing. Are you getting it? So that thing now went on to the new management team that came to work with us in our in our in our second album, not break it a project now. Mm. The second album. Now that thing that came up was actually what led to our breakup. One, the new management team that signed Natural and Baby White, they became um, too controlling. They didn't give us freedom mm. to, to exploit ourselves, yes. to do what we are supposed to do. They want to determine the kind of songs we record, taking us out of our original brand. Wow. Hey. They want to tell us the kind of clothes we have to wear, mm. where we are supposed to go to. We are two. I'm the, I'm the kind of guy that likes mingling with people, mm. going out, having good time. Yeah. Baby White is a very, very reserved guy. Baby White can be inside for a year without coming out. Mm. He's a nice guy, cool and calm. But when we feel like, okay, let's go out. And he's like, I don't want to go out. Are you getting what I'm saying? Mm. And because of that, I decide to go out alone. The management team will like, want to be fighting me. That I must do what he wants or he must do what I want. Mm. Well, those are some of the challenges you have when you are operating a company that has to deal with more than one person. Mm. Are you getting it? To be a door artist, group artist, it's not easy, most especially in this country. A lot of a lot of issues. Mr. A wants beans. Mr. Mr. B wants rice. So how can you manage them, bring them together at the same time for peace to reign? It's not easy. So at that very particular time, another talk came. This was the main one. Mm. This one were meant to go and perform in Malaysia. So one to lead to the other, one to lead to the other. My visa came out. People like visa still didn't come. Uh-uh. I was like, this is this is no, no. so frustrating. And now I was like, okay, is there any how we can do check and balance? Because we've actually bounced three international events. Mm-hmm. When hey. I mean three international events that, that comes with a good deal, good yeah. money. Each event we were supposed to receive 5,000 euros mm. per, per club appearance. So times 5,000 euros to 26 states. Mm. That's 5,000 times 26. Yes. You yeah, know that, that's, not, that's not a little money, right? Yes. Yeah. So um, at a time, at a time, I felt maybe we can actually dialogue and have a different kind of agreement. Mm. So, the management team was not also in support. I said, okay, if that's the case, no problem. Let's roll. Mm. I never knew that those things were already telling on my brother. Mm. 
Do you know I was telling on him? He was feeling bad, like, for about two to three occasions. Because his own was not out, I couldn't travel. Mm. So he felt like he has been keeping us. And by so doing, keeping me. So <laughs> on a very good day, he called me up on phone. Hey, what's up, dude? Can we meet? I said, okay. So I went up to see him. He was complaining about these things. And that he is feeling that we should try solo. We should go solo. I was like, come on, man. What's wrong with you? I'm not complaining. I should be the one complaining. He said, yes, but he's bothered. The thing is telling on me. Uh, that he doesn't want to keep me and yes. look as if he's the one tying me down. Mm. That he just wants... He just wants me to have my freedom and he wants to have his own freedom. Yeah. I was like, hey, you are not saying anything. I'm not going to take this. It was like, before calling me up, he has made up his mind that mm. he has been on me thinking about it for over three months mm. before uh -uh. deciding. I was like, you kept this thing for three months? So I was like, hey, I'm giving you time. Clear your head. I'm going home. I left. After some weeks, I called him up. What's up? Get ready. Let's go and record. I was like, I'm not recording. I'm serious. I was like, you are not saying this. He said, I'm serious. I'm telling you. I said, I'll still give you time, time to like get yourself. And one day, a friend called me. Hey, what's up? Are you listening to the radio? I said, what radio? EBS. I said, what's going on? He said, just go, just go. I said, okay. That was how I put on my radio. And I had a song from my brother. He has released a single. I was like, wow. Uh -uh. So I called him up. Hey, what's up? I was like, I'm good. I just had something. Is that you? He said, yes. You released a single? He said, yes. That He told me he was serious. And that is why I quickly went on to do it for me to know that he's very serious. serious. Oh! I still decided to give benefit of doubt. I promised myself I won't record. Some, you know, Nigeria, you have fans. So claim that I'm fan to natural. Yeah. Some claim I'm fan to baby white. Some say I'm fan yeah. to both of them. Yeah. So some will write me, baby white has done something. You go and do yours. And some will start picking lyrics. Look at what he said. Yeah. You blast him. I was like, hey, he's not talking to me. He's talking about life. You know, so that was how we're going. I waited after his first single. I waited for like eight months. Within these eight months, hey, what's up? Sometimes he wouldn't pick. Sometimes I won't call him. I'll just go to his house. He'll say he's not at home. Mm -hmm. But I knew what was going on. Until I was able to get him for the last time. It was like, the truth is that he's feeling bad that something is going on. That he is keeping me. And maybe in some area, me, I'm also keeping, keeping him. him. So that is why he feels if we go solo, it might be better for us. So, at the ninth month, I had to accept my fate. That thing actually affected me. Mm. Do you know why? Because he wasn't a friend. He was a brother. He was good to me. Caring, loving, and truthful. If there's one truth, truthful dude I've met in my life, is baby white. Mm -mm. Are you getting it? Yeah. So, it was telling on me, but I just had to go on with my career. So, I did my first single, which is Ego, Money, Ego, 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 We they spend anyhow, dollars, they are plenty. I did that song. That song was on Sound City, Hip TV, and MTV Base for only just one month, another invitation came again from Switzerland. This one to me personally. I was like, okay, let me try. I went and they gave me visa. And I left. So while I was there, I spoke with him. We discussed. I tried to also convince him that when I return, I want us to go back. You've done one, I've done one. Yeah, Let's come back. He said, no. So, I felt, if this guy is not ready, I'm not doing music. Uh -uh. Mm. Mostly love. I'm just telling you. Mm. And because of that, I spent some time in Europe, 
Switzerland precisely. And within that period of time, I had a lot of issues. Mm. When I mean issues, real serious issues that I don't want to bring to social media. That was it. And um, at the time I came back to Nigeria, I noticed that music is not the same way it used to be. Wow. So that was it. So I had to take my time to rebuild myself, rebuild my capital. Because then with just 100,000, you can make a music video. Yes, now. Nah. With just 500,000, you can do an entire project, audio, audio album, full album, like two videos for publicity. Yeah. But at the time I returned back to Nigeria, music business have evolved. In fact, if you want to do a good project, you should be talking of from 50 million and above. Yeah, yeah. So you can't imagine me coming back to Nigeria with 10 million era and expect yeah. me to, to be able to meet up to such a um, robust project. Mm. So I noticed that I had to make uh, uh, a, a different a different plans on how to meet up. So that was what I was actually doing. That was what actually kept me down and away from the scene for some time. Mm. So does that mean in this uh, journey of this entertainment between you and your brother, um, no, no record label come come sound. Uh, say okay. Yes. Um. At as when we were together, yeah. when we were together, that was when our son entertainment came in, and that was what I told you about. That we had a uh, a team. show in Malaysia, and they issued me visa, but they didn't issue Baby White, and the, the record label insisted that, um. We are not going. And apart from that, the record label were also involved in everything we do, want to tell us what to do, what not to do, what to eat, even to our private life. What's the name of this record label, sir? Ason. 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 So they at are, the time our contract are, ended, we just we went are, our separate ways. They still exist. I I don't know, but the last time I checked, they were not there. So maybe they are operating on a low. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this in your um musical career, mm. have you ever regretted anything in this um in this career? Like you regretted something? Maybe you suppose you do your banking thing. Mm. Or you like, suppose you do this one. Oh. <laughs> yes. The one thing I regretted was the decision i took not to do music for a while because mm. of the breakup between yeah, i and baby white yeah. yeah i regretted it it took a lot from me mm. Mm. It, it took a lot from me same same with him because after that project that thing he did he never did anything oh. so mm. are you guys planning to come back now to do something yes actually as I speak to you right now, we have a very, very good relationship and um, we are planning to do something together. Yeah. But due to some force of nature, one or two challenges, we've not been able to. We've actually agreed to do something. We're about doing it. One or two issues also came up. Again. Yes. Not between both of us this time. It has to do with the old plan and arrangement. Mm. Uh -huh. It has to do with the old plan and arrangement. What we're budgeting somewhere along the way didn't get to us and it has to slow the project again. So that's just it. Ha. Okay. Tell us the most em embarrassing moment you've had as an artist. Mm. On, uh, yes, as an artist. Be on international... Uh, yeah. Passports. <laughs> um, I think one of the most embarrassing moments I've had is the way most of our promoters, show promoters in Edo State, treat entertainers. Mm. And also, 
these junkies, DJs, mm. as big as an artist by the name Cyrus the Virus, as big as an artist of the name Natural and Baby White, you see a situation whereby you go for an event, they invited you, they pay you very well. People want to snap with you and everything. When it's time to perform, you hear the DJ will send them to you that they don't have your song on their laptop. That, mm. that you should, if you have flash drive. Hey. It's a slap in our face in Edo yes. State. It's a slap in our face in Edo State. You see show promoters in Edo State, they'll want to do events, they'll call you and they'll be pricing peanuts with you. But when they're bringing artists from other states, They'll even be begging the artist with the whooping sum of millions they are paying. They'll still be begging. Now, when these guys come, they'll put these guys in some five stars hotel and be begging you, we are one now, we are here together, just manage here. Those are embarrassing, embarrassing situations that whenever I think about them, I feel so bad. Hmm. Are you getting what I'm saying? Hmm. And most of these guys that they treat this way, when we go out to their state, they see us like, hey, like damning God. I was discussing with my friend Cyrus the Virus on how Duncan Mighty's first album, you can confirm from him, Duncan Mighty's first album, that, um, um, hey, 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 hey oh, well, I'm yeah. That is first album. Duncan Mighty sampled it to me in his room, in his private room in Port Court. When he just recorded his song, I and Baby White were in Port Court for a show. So he came to the show with us. After the event, he took us to his house and we we're all gisting. He was like, ah, look at this song. Oh. Mm. Ah, bros, listen to this song. How you see him? He played the song. And when I heard the song, I was like, wow, why are you keeping this? This is good. Bring it out. It was like, he's working on it. Are you getting it? Mm. This same dude, at the time, when that same song came out, Brekete was still on fire. Some promoters were inviting to Edo State to perform and also invite us. They will ask us to sit here that this seat is uh, reserved for documenting. Document. Nobody should go there. And when they come, that same dude, that same artist, they reserve that seat for. We say they can't sit down when I've not sat. They will not say, okay, 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 the bros, you sit down first. Mm. So some of these inter uh, um, show promoters, they can, they, they can really frustrate artist in this state, which is very bad. It's not encouraging. We should learn to respect our, our, our own. We should learn to support them and package them, present them to the world. Not to belittle them. Just because you have this familiarity with them. Yeah. You want to capitalize on it. Hey, now my guy, not me, make his day one place. Come on, this is business. Learn to respect it. Alright? Hmm. So that's it. <laughs> even some might even say, my boy. I'm my Thank guy. you very much. I'm my boy. Yeah. Ah. Sure. Some will invite you out. I'm my guy. Alpha. I did do something. Come, come now. Come, come, come tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm my this thing. I'm like, ah, okay. Um, bros, you you don't call my manager because my manager needs to know. I better leave manager. I'll try manager. They call you. Come. There's no even room for bargain, business bargain or whatever. They'll just ask you to come. By the time you decline. The next thing you start hearing, now, yeah, yeah, guy, now, very foolish guy, and I saw the form, wait till he be, wait till he sing, you know, those kind of mm. thoughts. And people were not there then, I go just buying to wait till they talk, not knowing the other side of the story. Hey! So that's it. So, as an artist, now, what can be done to reverse that? Um... Um, first of all, just keep your gaze at what you are aiming. Okay. Don't lose focus. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm working seriously to get back to where I was. Of course. And I know by the grace of God, I will get there. You're there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sir, please, uh, you just said something about Bini, like home base, uh, show promoters. Pro show promoters the way they have to downcast you mm. 
talk down on you, mm. like belittle you just because you are staying in Benin. Mm. And when somebody that respects you in Lagos or in Port Harcourt comes, I go put on for tell you, they'll say, ah, be like, say, room, no, do you feel drive go ass? Mm-hmm. What, what do you think that it is because you are in Benin that that happened to you or not because of say you did Lagos or not because of say your music is not banging? Not that. You that is sitting here knows very well that when we dropped Brekete, it was a banger, home and abroad. Of course. Yes. Up to date. Yes. Wherever you play it, it's still a banger. So it's not about the music. It's about over familiarity. Mm. And they don't understand and appreciate what they have right here. I'm telling mm. you the truth. They only appreciate you when they relate with you from a distance. The mm. moment you come close, it's something else. And when you don't buy into their ideas, you are you are a bad person. Hi. Or you are proud. Yeah. 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 So you're not saying it's a common thing with Bini people. Bini, Bini. I can't say it's a common thing with Bini people. It's a common thing with those Bini promoters that I've done business with. Okay. Yeah. And most of them happen to be the icon at as that time. So, but right now, we thank God things are already changing. And uh, by the grace of God, we believe it will change completely. Of course. Yeah. Um, so, what will you say about those DJs that normally play most of all those army piano, other um, access song, and we start promoting their Oh. It's the same thing I just said about the promoters. They don't value what they have. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling Wait, you the I truth. can I can a DJ, but for me, I I I I I, I won't say that DJ. Maybe is a is a Gen Z DJ. <laughs> Maybe, no, I know what I'm saying. Maybe is a Gen Z DJ. If you talk somebody, somebody like uh, I've anchored a show, I've anchored a show that Emoji played. Emoji C gets where, who be this guy? This guy, where, the app's not where the uh, Omega Trone, you for he has it on his system. You understand? You know, maybe because okay, have you not noticed you go club A to Z of that club? Now, my piano that will play A to Z. If you even switch, self, if you even switch, you will see, say, you will see, say, the energy drop. I know what I'm to tell you. Yeah. If you even switch, it just, most times, I felt that the DJ, they are just flowing with the trend. But as an intellectual DJ, you don't see B. You know, like me, if I want to go perform for, for comedy show, I die my own milligram, own milligram. You get one DJ uh, for this beginning, uh, DJ Fizzy. If they introduce me, say, give it up for MC Rock, we go play that own milligram before I enter stage. Mm. You understand? Value. That already give me. This boy entered that joke. And this boy entered that joke. Immediately I enter the stage, they have already accepted me. Yeah, props. You understand? Mm. So I think that most DJs that we have, they don't do research. You get some club where you will go, they don't play, play. Before you go, you go say, mm, Olu was okay. Oko wale, Olu was okay. Oh. You go there, enjoy yourself. But get some. Yeah, now my piano A to Z. You understand? I think for that aspect, now because of say, now Gen Z, DJ who apologize on behalf of the DJs. Oh, the Gen Z. <laughs> who apologize because I you say, may bros go bring flash. The question I want to ask now is, when we come to a state, there are some just the way you go solo. Mm. Like they're not here of you again. You will enjoy your song. I told you, mm. most not biology you don't happen to. What do you think is the root cause of that problem? That then you're yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be like four. Uh, naturally, in life, there's something called time and seasons. Yeah. It's natural. Time and seasons. Before I came out with Brekete, there were other artists. Okay. Kaha was there. Mm, I remember mm. Kaha. Are you getting it? Yeah. So, 
is a thing of time and seasons. But the major thing that matters a lot, keep doing what you are good at. Don't give up. That's just it. So when is your time today? Accept it because tomorrow is definitely going to turn to someone next time. So when it comes to your time, manage it well, make good use of it, and appreciate it. All so right. for those of you now where they feel say uh, natural and baby why the quarrel and so money cause problems, sure you don't hear from the horse's mouth. Uh. Say not be money. Mm. Should not be money now. No, 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 no. All right, quickly. Before... Money not cause problem. Baby white, baby white not get problem. Me not get problem. So where is he right now? Baby white is currently in Lagos. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Quickly before we round up because we don't have much time. What what uh. Abon, are you working on? Are you working on Abon or, yeah, or an yeah. EP or yeah, just... yeah, I'm definitely working on. When I'm working on it? some singles, back to back singles first, mm. before dropping an EP. I'm not talking about Abon for now. I want to drop like two, three singles, then I'll drop an EP. Are we expecting from it there. this year? Yeah, by the grace of God. Okay. Yeah. Man, purpose. So All right, please. For speech. example, they want to follow you on your social media. social media platform, your Instagram. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, Instagram is a uh, natural biggest boy. Natural biggest, biggest boy. boy. No, no. What about TikTok? Natural biggest TikTok boy. TikTok. Natural biggest Facebook. Boy. Natural bracket master on Facebook. On Facebook, yeah. natural bracket master. Are yeah. oh, the ladies? <laughs> Let's go to his page this evening and sleep there. Uh-huh. Yeah, we are sleeping in your he's, page. Is 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 a married man. He, ha- he actually has three wives and now you give up. Now you give up marriage. Please, please. I have please. I have nine children and nineteen wives, <laughs> and I'm trying to break the record of King Solomon. Ah. <laughs> <Bam>. <laughs> all, right. Okay. all right, thank, thank you, you so much. much. This is where we call it a day on Let's Just Reality Podcast. Produced by Sam Scudi Media Limited. My name yeah. is MC Rogood, aka Milligram. I don't tell them before. Anytime a person tell you something, say, not tell anybody you command they there. That is why we bring this program. May you for the hear everything. You know, see the program man in the sweet. Even this man away will care for this studio now. He goes so release this song. And if you did there, you just did the true music, you just come, you they sing, you just they sing, you know they know how the music they come, and you want to harness and not be that English correct. You want to harness the one where you, where you know. I no, I did try, I try, <laughs> I try step up my English. In, in, is it English or English? Your grammar. You know, say guys are kind of beneath people where we know Sabi they pronounce something like Tetracycline. 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 M. C. Rose. So this is Osas Media. Osas Vision. Osas Vision. Now everything you say they do comedy. Carry your talent. <laughs> Go me there. May they help you shape it now. Not be HK with it. Not be uh, Rage Kill. Not be record label with it. Wait there for the court person live shot. This one, I will be like, see. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you in the next episode. I love you. I love you too.